So the UN Arms Treaty is set to be signed on Monday um, in New York, but for some reason, even though it's being signed in New York, America is not going to be there to sign it. So we're not signing the treaty. But unfortunately, we are a part of the UN and would be subjugated to any rules or laws imposed by the treaty. So if the UN does not or I should say the U.S. does not back out of the U.N. and this treaty is signed and we are, you know, basically any of our rights are infringed, that document basically then becomes a declaration of war. It's very obvious. Um, basically, most of the stuff in this article on Yahoo News about the article, about the U.N. Global Arms Treaty being signed on Monday is about what it covers. It's about, I don't know, it says there's something there about battle tanks, armored combat vehicles, large caliber artillery systems, combat aircraft, heli attack helicopters, warships, missiles, missile launchers, and small arms and light weapons. Well, what would a light weapon be? Light weapon would be semi-automatic handguns. Light weapon would be semi-auto rifles with detachable mags. Just like in California, they just uh, they just wound up making it illegal to own a semi-automatic rifle with a detachable magazine. That was signed today. So if you live in California, you should be mad as hell. But furthermore, if this... Uh, arms treaty is signed and we are still part of the UN we are still subjugated to the treaty even though we didn't sign it because we would be members of the UN so in order to not be affected by it we would have to back out of the UN and then we would be considered a rogue nation like North Korea which is kind of ironic but um, this treaty is supposed to stop a lot of the arms trade like like how the U.S. right now we're we're supplying arms to Syrian rebels, um, Russia's supplying arms to Syrian government, for instance. This, this kind of thing's been going on for a long time. Stuff like that. This would supposedly end that. You wouldn't be able to to trade weapons between nations, I suppose. But either way, it's a bad treaty, and I'm feeling like it's a declaration of war. Um, there's a couple parts in here with an opinion. It's either an opinion or something. I can't remember. The right to keep and bear. Here it goes. This is the one part I did like. It says the right to keep and bear arms is granted by God and protected from government aggression by the Constitution. It is not subjected to whims of global totalitarianism. Anyways, I'm hella drunk right now, and I'm just like scrolling through this right now, so I'm trying to keep my composure. But this thing is set to be signed on Monday, and, you know, none of it better affect us, because if it affects us, there's going to be hell to pay.